Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and doing a redesign for the Willys MB. The Willys MB, commonly known as the Jeep or sometimes referred to as G503, were highly successful off-road capable light military utility vehicles built in large numbers to a standardized design from 1941 to 1945 for the Allied forces in World War II. The Jeep became the primary light wheeled transport vehicle in the United States military and its allies of World War II, as well as the post-war period, with President Eisenhower once calling it one of the three decisive weapons the U.S. had during World War II. It was also the world's first mass-produced four-wheel drive car manufactured in six-figure numbers. About 650,000 units were built, constitu constituting a quarter of the total U.S. non-combat motor vehicles produced during the war, and almost two-thirds of the 988,000 light vehicle class produced together with the Dodge WC series. Large numbers of Jeeps were provided to the U.S. allies, including Russia at the time, aside from large amounts of uh, 1.5 ton and 2.5 ton trucks. Some 50,000 Jeeps and 250,000 3 quarter ton tons were provided to Russia during World War II. More than Nazi Germany's combined total production of their Volkswagen vehicles, the Kubelwagen, and the Swimwagen. The vehicle itself was a uh, Obviously a highly iconic vehicle, um, they're obviously still widely known today and kind of sought out as collector's items. Uh, they did even see service in the Korean War and some kind of early Cold War type scenarios, but were eventually phased out for obviously, you know, newer and improved, more, uh, obviously better vehicles. Uh, yeah, but the Willys MB, um, one of those classic iconic World War II vehicles, and I definitely want to get a tutorial out for you guys, considering the last one basically to my skill was uh, oversized so I wanted to go and get a redesign out there for you guys to fix that uh, you know plunder in the last one and I definitely think that this uh, redesign for the Jeep looks really nice it's very clean and uh, it's definitely gonna look really cool and it's actually size accurate now to how it really should have been but anyways let's go and take a quick look at the design and move into the tutorial for it so anyways starting off with we have the iconic front uh, of the vehicle here so the headlights the grill and the large front bumper that sticks out the front. Uh, we have the wheels here, using a nice little technique here with banners, which I think actually works pretty good for you know, what we're trying to show here. Um, all the various details here, we got the inside here, so a little bit of interior of the seats and stuff. There's not really much going on with the interior, just due to the size of the vehicle, but I think it definitely you know does uh, you know fit the part. On the back here, we have the uh, spare tire, gas canister, and just a few little various little details and stuff like that. And of course, these the spare tire and gas canister don't have to be added, but just kind of a nice little detail bit on the back there to kind of make it look a little bit more militarized, you know, carrying around extra cargo and stuff. And we also have a little radio antenna on the back of it as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the new design for the Willys MB. Again, a more size accurate version and just a better overall detailed and well put together model. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we'll be starting off with layer 1. Now for layer 1 to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go into the loom and we're going to place down a green banner and some black dye. Now we're going to go ahead and select the dye uh, kind of pattern here that has an outline of black all the way around. We're going to go ahead and grab that banner and we have the green banner with a black border. We're going to go ahead and then select the design that puts a line right through the middle here with our black so it kind of splits it into these two squares and we're going to go and then grab that banner and that's all we need to do so we're going to go ahead and hold on to this banner and we'll be using this here for the wheels here shortly and we to go ahead and get started with here we're going to set our wheel base we're going to go ahead and place down a black um, coal block just like this and then we're going to go and place down a row of one two uh, end rods over and then we're going to place down their block of coal we then want to take our dark oak wood, we're going to place down a row of three, or sorry, row four dark oak wood, followed by a second row and then a third row of dark oak wood across. We're going to place down a narrow block of coal here to both sides and a row, row of two of end rods across in between them. On the back here, we're going to place down a row of two of dark oak wood top sides along the middle here, followed by a dark oak wood trap door to both sides just like that. And also, if you do plan on adding this uh, jerry can here mounted on the back, we're going to go ahead and also place down a dark oak wood trap door over here to the left side of this, on this uh, dark oak wood top side. But again, that's only if you want to put the gas canister there. If you don't want to, then uh, you won't include it. Anyways, uh, once that's done, we're going to go and then go to the front up here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate that's going to be uh, right here in front of these two blocks of coal. And we're going to open it up toward the blocks, or sorry, my bad, we're going to open it up toward the front, like so. And we want to go and then take a dark oak wood sign and we're going to place it down here on the insides of 
these dark oak wood upside down, or these uh, dark oak wood fence gates. And then we're going to come off the two fence gates, we're going to place down two dark oak wood signs, and then come off these dark oak wood signs, we're going to crouch and place down our dark oak wood signs, come off those signs, so you create the front bumper here, like so. With that done, we're going to take that banner design that we designed before, and we're going to go ahead and just place down the banner on these blocks of coal, all the way around like that to go and create the wheel design. It creates a kind of a unique look to it, I think it looks pretty cool. You can also just opt for doing the traditional dark oak wood button on the wheels, um, like this, or basically whatever you feel looks best. I think the banner kind of works pretty good for this situation. I think it creates a nice little design there. Uh, but anyways, that's it for layer one. Let's move into layer number two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of two across these two end rods, and then we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab to both sides of that row of two. Coming off the two green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down two ladders, and then coming off the two top slabs, we're going to place down two item frames with snowballs in it for the front headlights. After that's complete, we're going to go and then place down a row of two green terracotta across the middle here again, followed by a mossy cobbles on the wall to both sides, and then coming off the side of this mossy cobbles on the wall, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign. Again, to both sides like so. From this, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab back on both sides here. And we're going to go then place down a row of three of cut sandstone slabs across the middle space like so. Also, on the side of these dark oak wood slabs, we're going to go and place down a dark oak wood sign again to both sides. With that done, we're going to place down a green terracotta block to both sides. And coming off the side of the green terracotta block, we're going to place down a tripwire hook like so. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of two of cut sandstone on top of those two end rods and then we're also going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair off the side of this green terracotta block to both sides like that after that's done we're going to place down another green terracotta block here to both sides followed by a row of two of spruce wood pressure plates across or spruce wood uh full blocks across the center there and then we can place down two tripwire hooks across the back here if you are choosing to put the jerry can, uh, we're just going to place down a tripwire hook on the one spruce wood plank there to the right side. And then on top of this dark oak wood trap door, we're going to place down a green choker box with a dark oak wood sign coming off the side of it. And um, just to finish it off so we don't have to worry about it later, we're going to place down a zombie head on top of it. And that'll be basically your uh, jerry can here mounted on the back of the vehicle. Also on the sides here of these two green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down two item frames. And in the item frames, we're going to place down a red stained glass block and also a dark oak wood sign. Like this on the side of the block covering the um, head or the tail lights. After that, we're also going to place down a uh, acacia wood button here on the side of the green terracotta block over there, like that. And once you have that all complete, that is going to finish layer number two for the build. And with that, let's go and move into our last final layers, which will be basically layers three, four, five, six, and seven. We're put the radio antenna on and all the top details. So with that, let's move into our last final layers. All right, guys, moving into our last final layers, we have layers three through seven. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood trap door on top of these two uh, dark oak wood up sound stairs. From that point there, we're gonna go ahead and place down a row of two of dark oak wood slabs across the space in between them, and a narrow row of two of dark oak wood slabs that go back like so. We then want to place down a dark oak wood fence post on top of these two mossy cobblestone walls, and then a zombie head coming off the fence post here to both sides. On top of these fence posts, we're going to place down a green zombie head here to both sides like so, with the face facing toward, in, toward the inside, and then we're just going to place down a row of two of end rods across like that to kind of create the front uh, where the windshield would be, but uh, just due to the limitations here in Minecraft, we're just going to have to imagine that there is glass going across there. Once uh, that's all finished there, we're going to then place down a wither skeleton skull like this, followed by a uh, row of two of birchwood trapdoors like this, and we're going to have them open up like so to create the backing here for the seats. Once uh, that's done, we can also go to the bottom here and just kind of flush this off a little bit. We can place down some dark oak wood uh, trapdoors there on the bottom as well to kind of create a nicer look there for the seats. Once that's done, on top of these green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab to both sides here. Another brick, or sorry, dark oak wood slab after the dark oak wood trap doors. And then we're just going to place down a row of four of dark oak wood slabs across the back here. Now, uh, coming off the dark oak wood slabs here, we can go ahead and place down two uh, birch wood trap doors like that for the rear seats in the vehicle. Now, once that's done, uh, we're also going to place down a zombie head here on the left dark oak wood slab. And coming up from it, we can place down a radio antenna. Now, this is also another optional thing. Um, not all always Jeeps had antennas mounted on them, but if you wanted to, you could easily add the antenna and that's how you would do it. And then also another optional addition is the addition of a spare tire. Now due to basically the banners here, we can't really use the banner technique on this tire, so 
the way we're going to do this is we're going to place down a uh, basically a block of coal here on this dark oakwood slab and we can move, we're going to go and then place down a dark oakwood button coming off the side here and then we can go and grab an item frame and if you're on PC this uh, technique will work uh, but you can go ahead and place down an item frame on the side of the block here and a green glass pane and it doesn't look too far off from well it's kind of different there but you know you kind of still get the general idea of what we're trying to go for there for the spare tire um, if you wanted to just keep it consistent you can keep take the same design and apply it to all the wheels here but I do think the banner wheels look kind of kind of nice for this vehicle so anyways that right there is going to complete layers three through seven for the build and with that I'm going to complete my tutorial for my redesign for the Willys MB Jeep hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use if you do end up using it on any of your worlds uh, please be sure to give me proper credit for it. this video can be anything from a sign of the build link to my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites as long as you guys give me proper credit for it, your free user favorite projects you guys are working on uh, overall enjoy the build have fun with it and all that fun stuff and uh, with that thank you guys all so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been Garrett 2x4 and I'll see you guys next time